So today I'm making one of my favorite Middle Eastern dipping sauces, I think. It's muhammara and it's basically a roasted red pepper and walnut sauce. And I love it because it really has all of the components. It has a creaminess from the walnuts, you have savoriness from the roasted red peppers, you have a little bit of tang from the pomegranate molasses that also provides some sweetness. So it's really everything in one and I think you can do a ton of stuff with this. So I can't wait to show you guys the recipe, so let's head over to the kitchen and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by roasting a red pepper right on the stove, just um, char it on all four sides, and then afterwards cover this with a piece of saran wrap so that it has a chance to steam um, on itself, and then the skin will easily kind of peel off with um, a spoon like this. You're just kind of scraping it off. I'm deseeding it, I'm getting rid of the uh, middles and the insides, and then probably should have used a cutting board for this, but I'm just gonna chop it up into long slices, because later on, I'm just gonna put it into the um, food processor. Uh, and then you wanna kind of put um, about, uh, let's say a half a cup worth of breadcrumbs uh, into the machine. This calls for fresh breadcrumbs. So I just took you know, two slices of bread and did it like that. And then uh, in go my roasted uh, red pepper. And then I'm gonna put in about a half a cup of um, green scallions, probably uh, just the lighter green parts. Um, you have a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon or so of salt to taste. You can adjust that later. Um, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then finally about five tablespoons of olive oil, um, and then also a little bit of Aleppo pepper. That's just to taste. You can use um, red chili flakes as well, and then three quarters of a cup of um, walnuts. And then this is um, pomegranate molasses. So it's sweet, but it's kind of tangy at the same time, so it's really nice. But be careful, it does get kind of sweet, so if you don't like it, if you want it more on the savory side, add a little bit less, and I did about two to three uh, teaspoons of that. I pulsed it. You kind of want to get this sauce pretty, mm, I wouldn't say well ground, but um, you do want to leave it chunky, but sorry, there's. Uh, I was holding the camera and it was shaking at the same time. So adding a little bit of breadcrumb will bring that texture right back and then it'll thicken up the, um, the sauce as well. So you can see how nicely it kind of coats the spoon and um, it'll coat, you know, everything else like uh, you can do vegetables or you can do pita bread. And then this is a presentation. So kind of a big scoop onto the plate. And then I always see restaurants do this. You take kind of a spoon and you make a nice well in the middle. And it's so cool for presentation. And then you just um, fill that in with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, which also serves as a dip. And then a little bit more of that pomegranate molasses, um, along with some toasted, if you have some toasted leftover walnuts. It is so, so pretty. Um, I have some of these whole wheat pitas. They're kind of individual sized round. I left them whole because they were prettier. Um, a little bit of uh, celery sticks. You can put in some carrots as well. And really, that's that's it. It is um, one of my favorite kind of um, Middle Eastern Mediterranean sauces because it has kind of the walnuts to make it creamy. It has the pomegranate molasses to make it sweet, a little bit tangy, and um, it's also very savory as well with the roasted red peppers and the scallions. So it really has everything in it. I personally like it a little bit less sweet, so I hold off a little bit more on um, on that pomegranate molasses. but. You can keep this actually for a couple of days uh, in the fridge. I've actually tried freezing it as well, so it thaws up actually uh, pretty well. So you guys can make this sauce to accompany, let's say, a more healthy lunch. You can just bring vegetables, chopped up vegetables, and have this. Or you can actually smear it on top of sandwiches as well, just as a sauce, and that is amazing too. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. As usual, if you like and want to see more of this, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.